Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK and as you know I kind of give you bits of information here and there that I think you might find useful. Now I found out from the UK visa and immigration um, source that the um, Home Office might be losing their job. Well, might be losing their control over the immigration rules. Uh, Whitehall is going to decide whether or not it should be deployed to a government or community body. Well, well, this has all happened because of the cock up with the um, DNAs and Windrush, and there was something else that didn't go right. I think it was the uh, unrealistic targets, tens of thousands of immigrants they were meant to get rid of. And because they set themselves targets, they kind of went headfirst, making their own rules and regulations um, and making it so, so difficult, not only for themselves, but for any immigrant, whether legal or illegal, to um, abide by whatever it was they're setting down. Now you can have people who are legal and then because you know they were so pedantic the slightest little thing that went wrong they were you know out to deport, out to deny, out to reject. People's um, paid so much money to get their applications only to have it rejected on something that could be resolved or some, you know, through further explanation, but because they're so overloaded, they didn't have time to go through all of those things. So as a result, they've made a lot of cock-ups. And, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of cases and money that they've had to pay out. Um, it doesn't, you know, it goes without saying that if you're deporting someone, that's a cost. And if you're bringing, having to bring them back, that's another cost. So it can't be good if you're making mistakes. And any everybody knows that if you've got too much work, you can't do a good job. So if you're standing, if you're setting yourself unreasonable targets, of course things are going to go wrong. Anyway, so what's happening now is that it could be it's not set in stone, because that you know one uh, post Brexit, <clears throat> three point five million EU nationals are eligible for settled status. So that's another whammy that they're going to have to deal with. So what they're thinking is, can they cope? And so I think they're going to kind of outsource it somehow. But, you know, we'll have to watch this space. I'm not quite sure um, of the ins and outs. I just got a little snippet this morning. So, yeah, I was just sharing that with you. I don't think there's anything else. Um... Oh, the Institute, well, the source, well, the Institute of Government in yeah, the Institute of Government, it's called IFG, said that UK immigration rules seem to be wobbling from crisis to crisis. Ooh. And they're, they're the ones that are pushing to have it looked into to be reviewed by Whitehall. Um, is there anything else? I think that's all for now. Bye bye.